Hello, my fellow earthlings. How are you? Welcome, welcome. So are you ready for me to fill your bucket? I'm gonna fill your bucket up. So bring your bucket out, put it out, and get ready for me to fill up your bucket. So I'm gonna fill your bucket. I'm gonna kinda tell you you're so amazing. You need to hear it right now. You just need to hear how amazing you are. So I'm here to do that for you. Me and your spirit guides are gonna tell you how amazing you are. Maybe you're not recognizing it. Maybe you've forgotten some of it. Maybe, maybe some of it's just sort of starting to hatch out of you and you're not sure what it is. Well, you're gonna find out. And then I'm gonna give you a little message on, um, it's just a message to take with you. This is a message for you that has not necessarily anything to do with filling your bucket. It might or it might not. It might also have something to do with leading you up to filling other people's buckets. So at the end, we're gonna kind of go into how you can fill other people's buckets. Because once your bucket is full, if it just keeps running over, all that goes to waste. You have to kind of put it into other buckets, right? So let's get started, my earthlings. Earth, earth, earth. Let's fill Earth's buckets, huh? Let's fill Earth's bucket. Wow, you guys got quite a few cards. There's an awful lot of things here that you need to know about. Oh my goodness, you got, okay. So I'm gonna read these out of a little book because it might be hard to get completely what they are. Um, this is from the Divine Guidance Oracle deck by Cheryl Lee Harnish. So number, what was that, 20, 25? Number 25. Ooh, number three and number 28. Now you also have an underline, which is number 38. That's at the bottom of the deck. So I'm gonna read, they're not very long. I'm gonna read what each one of these is about for you. So number 25, cellular healing. Ooh, filling up your bucket here. So like I said, you know, maybe there's something new hatching out of you and you don't know what it is. But that would kind of connect with cellular healing. Each cell within your body is a unique individual organism and each cell has memory. You have drawn this card because there are changes taking place on a cellular level. The vibrant green energy surrounding... Yeah, here. The vibrant green energy surrounding the cell in the image denotes healing, either of a physical or energetic nature. If it is on an energetic level, the healing energy moving through you is helping to release old cellular memories that your body is holding. On the physical level, you can expect to feel more energized and renewed as your body returns to its natural state of health. Well, that's kind of nice to know if you've been kind of feeling a little depleted or tired or depressed or you're going to be renewed. You're going to be feeling much better. That kind of fills your bucket, right? Now I'm going to feel better. Number three. Infinite love. This card represents the infinite love that not only resides within you, but is you. The entire universe is the vibration of love energy. Spirit sees your beautiful heart and is calling you to allow this loving energy to flow fully into you and from you. It will heal your hurts and negative past experiences helping you connect with the true immortal being of light that you are. It is your light and your love that this world needs most. It's time to let the love flow. Oh, see, you have so much to give. That's kind of like me filling your bucket, like just to confirm that, like you have so much to give and offer. You kind of want to let that flow out, right? And go into some other buckets. Okay, number 28, find it here. Yeah, you got, I think you guys got the most cards out of anybody. Number 28 is freedom. It's time to come out of your shell. The shell, which did serve you in the past to provide protection for your tender heart, is no longer needed. The time has come to begin to allow yourself true freedom. This world and your soul both need you to let your light and your heart to shine. Allow the past to be the past and move forward in this present moment. Do this in small steps at first if you need to. Moving away from your protective shell means allowing your true heart to be seen, but it also means allowing others in on a deeper level than you have been able to allow before. Ooh. 
Yeah, you guys are, this is feeling like a very transformative energy, which is brilliant. This is the time to do that. This is really the time to do that, to transform. Wow, you guys are smart. You guys are doing the right thing at the right time here. Okay, so this is funny now that I see what this one is. This is the underlying. The underlying. So to me, this is sort of like the cause for all the effect here. All right. This is gentle release. The presence of Archangel Michael is here to assist you with clearing your energy field of old hurts and past experiences that are weighing you down and slowing your progress in life. He is here to help you cut the cords that keep you energetically attached to people and events that no longer serve you in a positive way. Michael always performs his duties with love and asks you to cons consciously send love to those people and things in your past so that you may release them into the light and move forward with your life. Oh, that's what you're doing. That's sort of the process. You're doing that. That's amazing. Like whether you're consciously aware of it or not, that seems to be the reason that everything else is happening here. And you're really doing it at the best time to do it. <laughs> like, kind of like you can't do much else right now. So why not? Really, why not? All right. So my... Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns, and anyone else who's just feeling that earthy energy, right? Anyone who's feeling it. Like, I'm an Aries, but my moon is in Taurus, which is supposed to be a great influence on me. So that's why I'm like, don't get so hung up on your sign. Anyone can take these readings. I think this is just everybody. Everyone should watch all four, four, four elements, all four elements, and take it and say, yes, I'm putting that in my bucket. Yeah, you take it and put it in your bucket. Okay. The, ooh, the, um, the goddess deck, you got two, romantic love, Aphrodite, and Branwen, forgiveness. Ooh. It's funny how I had them this way, and then I put them that way. It's almost like I feel like this has been switched somehow. Like you are in the process of forgiving romantic love from the past, and by doing that, the forgiveness turns into romantic love. Did you see that? Yeah, like this is how I, they came out of the deck and I looked at them and I showed you and then when I put them back into my hands, they went like that. Like past, future, no, yeah. Past, present, future. That's kind of cool. Romantic love from the past. Forgive, oh yeah. Ah, yeah, definitely. That is really neat. And this earthly energy, it's very grounded. I'm getting a really grounded, I'm <laughs> earthly. Of course I'm getting a really grounded energy. I'm wondering how you guys are feeling. Like my earthlings out there, how are you all? Oh yeah, I turn, I turn off the comments. Oh, there's a little spot in the community section where you can go and comment. It's kind of a safe little space. It's a safe little space. Because the spaces are not so safe anymore. Some people are really losing it out there. There's a lot of little chicken littles running around. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. Oh, I can't believe that. Ooh, wow. This is really cool. Okay, so that deck was... Oh, I didn't look at the bottom. I'm so distracted right now. I don't know why. I was really holding it together for a while there. Focus. The focus. Absolutely. Earth signs are really known for this, like on target, focusing, this is what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to get, you know, and it, some, it might take longer than others, but you definitely keep your focus and you keep trying and you keep working on it. So that's good. The world needs that now. The world needs some of your patience. Hmm? So that was the, the goddess, the goddess deck. So that's like a message from Divine Feminine, you know, to fill your bucket up here. You're in the right process. You're really doing like some forgiveness work here. Forgiveness of past relationships, which is moving you into future relationships. You got the green man abundance. This is the God in Titan deck. So this masculine energy coming through. And renewal. Ooh. It's funny, the green man reminds me very much of earth energy because he is earth, you know, and he's growing this beautiful little plant right out of his hand. It's really about abundance. Everything you sort of touch is going to prosper and grow. It's like a quiet time. The seed, it's as if you've planted the seed. The seed has been planted 
And now you're going through this work, this internal work right now in regards to the past. In the present, you're going into the past to produce your future. And in the present, the seed is under the ground and it's about to sprout. So look at this, it's like a renewal, a renewal in yourself. Now this is almost like two people renewing one another, I feel. The warmth and the cold and the cold and the warmth coming together. The feminine and the masculine. Interesting message. I'm kind of getting before. I'm getting this message where in the past, for you, however this plays out, that the masculine was supporting the feminine. And I just feel like somehow now the feminine is supporting the masculine. And it is like a play. Almost like you play your energy like that too. What's the bottom one? Oh, the flow. Oh, I love when the flow card comes out in any way with this abundance card. I feel like it's almost like having the water within you to nurture and grow and sprout this plant, this idea, this future, this plan. And the flow, the water is your feelings and your emotions here. Really fixing, going in, I don't want to say fixing that, you need to fix that, no. <laughs> no, like really, not so much controlling that anymore. Not so much controlling your feelings and your emotions, but recognizing them and allowing them to flow so that they can nurture the seeds within that you have planted that need to grow. So that's really beautiful. It's very quiet. Your energy feels very quiet right now. It was a little bit, well, it was very hot and spicy and fire. And then it was a little bit windy. <laughs> in the air. That's really quiet. Yeah, it's like a really quiet energy. And it's, it's kind of quiet outside. So Earth is kind of quiet. It's kind of funny how that works. Now we're going to go into like a little message for you. Let's get a little message for Earth. She who prepares. It kind of feels like you're doing that. Formulate, strategize, devise. It really feels like you're kind of doing that. What's the underline for that? She was present, now awareness, acceptance. Oh yeah, there's like a storm all around her, but she's staying really calm. But she's, yeah, that's what I feel, right? Did I just say to like the air energy, it was a little windy. And now here it feels very calm. And that's what she's doing here. She's standing, like the wind has blown her hair right up in the air and the snow and the wind is whipping around her and she's just, it's almost like if everything or other people around you, just the world seems a little bit crazy and chaotic. You're that stable, yeah, you are that stable, solid foundation. You're in the now, you're aware. I find, well, it could be where I am too, that the difference between what's really going on outside and what you see on the news is like night and day. It's so quiet outside. It really is. And then you watch the news. I guess it depends where you are though. I guess it depends where you are. But having said that, your reality is what you really need to be focused on, correct? Yes. Because you can't fill other people's buckets that are in your reality if you're not focused on your reality. So what does the Energy Oracle deck have for you? Oh, it has something, oh, it has two things. Wow, isn't this interesting? You got Envy and Rest and Rejuvenate. You know what I feel? I feel like this Envy is a little bit directed towards you. This feels like you. <laughs> I just said it was a little bit windy in the air energy and you guys are really stable. Look at this person is sitting so calm and stable and grounded and the wind is whipping over. Again, the wind is whipping around. Look at y'all. The wind is whipping around here. The wind is whipping around there. <sighs> calm, but it's almost as if some, someone, more than one, 
are sort of envious. And I don't want to say that they recognize it as envy. I feel like they're looking at you taking on things in a very calm way, in a very calm light. Protect yourself. Just protect. You know, it's a good time to protect your energy. I've had to do it on my channel because there's some crazy shit out there right now. <laughs> really crazy. It's a whole new level of, yeah, it's, oh, attachment. It's a whole new level of crazy. And there is some of that energy. It feels like it's directed at you. Put on some crystals. Say a little prayer. Say a little mantra. Say a little whatever. Just... And be aware, like if there's an energy around you of someone or a group, and it feels maybe combative. You know, it almost, I want to get that it just kind of feels like this person or a group might try to push buttons because they don't like how you're just sitting here, you know, sort of staying calm and using this as a time to just... It's not like you're just chilling out, but you're doing all this internal work. It's almost like there's a storm within that you're working on, which is very intelligent to work on that right now. But these little ones, you know, maybe they are little ones because your kids. Like, yeah, I mean, daddy's trying to be really calm. Let's go freak them out. Let's drop some glass in the kitchen and see if we can get a reaction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This other person seems calm. This envious person seems calm, but they're dark. They're very dark. There's a storm in there too, but they're not dealing with their storm. That's kind of the difference here. I think they see you dealing with your storm and there is some envy. Attachment is the underlying. You're getting ready to remove a mask and remove a chain. Being asked to really look at yourself. Look at who you've been up to this point and who you are now and where you'd like to be, who you'd like to be, what you'd like to be. This is the time for self-reflection. Let's see what the tarot says for you now. What does the tarot say? <laughs> That's how many messages come through. I just got a message. The Capricorns want to know if it's a good time to buy some stocks. I think it probably is, but I don't know what to buy in right now because I don't know where the world's going to be soon. I don't know. You know what? I always say, like, this is a good time and everything's really low. You should buy, but I think the world is going to come out quite different on the other end here. So I'm not sure that anything was successful in the past is going to be success successful in the future. That's a good one. Hmm. What do you have here? Oh, yes. Seven of Wands, Knight of Wands. What's it got? There's something going on here. You're just, this is like a little caution to you guys. And I think it's important that it's coming through. Um, interesting message, but I feel like there's a little caution here for my earthlings that there is some sort of energy around you that's feeling a little bit envious. And you know, you might feel a little, they're trying to get you to be a little bit defensive to come to their fight, to come to their battle. You know, with the Knight of Wands, though, I think this is a better energy, a better approach. Just to really hold your ground. Really hold your ground. Be very passionate about how you feel and what you're doing in your life right now. Don't be Knight of Pentacles. I know that sounds funny, right? Like, hold your ground. The Knight of Pentacles is very slow moving. Because you have movement within. You definitely have movement within, but it looks like you're not moving. You're not doing anything. You're just like, how can you do that? Aren't you freaking out? <laughs> it's like what I feel like this person or people are feeling like inside when they look at you. Why aren't you freaking out? Because you're bit, it's like, well, I'm busy freaking out inside about my own stuff. I don't need to freak out about the stuff out there, which is true. You need to look after yourself first. You're transforming. They better be careful, that's what I'm going to say. They better be careful because this energy is, you're really owning it. You're really owning and going forward with who you are and what you want to be. Make sure, like, take that on. You don't need to defend yourself against anybody. You don't need to. You don't need to justify yourself to anybody. You just live your life. Live the passion, desire. 
be that creative outlet that you want to be, that creative spark. That's how you live your truth. Ooh, because your luck is changing. The Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, good luck is coming in. See, there you go, Capricorn. Maybe you could buy some stocks right now. I know, that's just not fair. <laughs> that's so um, stereotypical, isn't it? Yes, I don't agree with that either. Because I'm an Aries and I just buy stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so that was interesting because it felt a little bit like a little message for you in terms of just, you know, be aware of what someone might try. Someone's not happy that you're looking so calm. There's always someone, huh? There's always someone. There's always someone that seems to think how you're feeling needs to affect how they're feeling. That's, I think that's what that is. That's that, how that envy is playing out. Because it's, it's like, well, I'm upset. This person's thinking, I'm upset. I don't like what's going on. It's freaking me out a little bit. They might be looking okay. You can tell like, it's almost like a little spring that's been compressed too long. And um, they're like, yeah, everything is good. Everything is good. Mm, I don't know. But, you know, they're looking at you thinking, why are you so calm? I don't like that. Because if I'm going to be on this road, I want you to be on it with me. Oh, I hate that. That's the worst energy. You've got to take your own road, especially if you don't like their road. Stay in your own lane. Ah, that's what I like. It. They need to stay in their own lane because your lane is a nice lane. Yeah, you're, you know, it's like when you're on the highway. <laughs> on the highway. It drives me crazy. When someone does this, especially like if I'm driving up to my folks, because it's just two lanes most of the way, like one going one way and one coming towards you. And then every once in a while, when you get to like a big hill, your lane will turn into two because it's the anticipation that if you get stuck behind a big truck, the thing is going really slow. So he pulls off to that one and you can pass him. Um, regardless, whether you get to that or not, or it's a single lane and then there's a break where you can pass. There's nothing worse. Oh, no, this, no, it's, yeah. <laughs> that someone who's staying in their lane but they don't want to lead they want to be a leader but they don't know how to do it i see that on the road all the time i'm like you know you want to be a leader but you don't know how to do it just get out of the way what you want to say. maybe that's the aries in me but it's really driving me crazy so you're driving and it's the second lane is starting to come to an end and i can see them kind of thinking well, i'm not going to speed up at a ridiculous speed you know, it's not let them, that would be, you know, obviously going faster than me. So let them get ahead so they don't have to pass me later. So then they do, they get in right in time. And then they go really slow. It's like, ah, what the hell? Why don't you stay in your own lane? See, I feel like this person is a little bit of that energy around you. Because the energy that you're housing is leadership energy. That's leadership energy. Really, like... Being that grounded person, you might have an internal storm, but you're working on that. Like, you're working on that. And you're staying in your own lane. And this person is because that leadership is bothering them. They want it, but they don't know how to do it. So many. So many. Yeah, it's just, it really does. Isn't that driving you crazy? That's what that is to me when someone does that or they pass you. And then they sit in front of you and they go really slow. I'm like, you just don't want to be a leader. You don't know how to do it. Just get out of the way. Well, I'll show you how to do it. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. Oh, it's a lot of cars. What the heck? I've got nowhere to go. <laughs> oh, no, it is a lot of cars. Five. Oh, I need to check. <laughs> okay. I need to start putting something else besides water in here reading is really interesting i could you like a little marathon i guess i just put some put some vodka in here it's just like a social experiment and you know start my reading and then you know after every card comes out i'll take a little sip <laughs> we'll see how the reading goes at the end it's like whoa <laughs> who knows maybe it'll become more accurate <laughs> Ooh, 44 the rings of time 52, the Ancient Ones. Someone else had that. Oh, 
49, Woman of Light. That's a beautiful card. I don't know that I've ever pulled it. I like that. Interesting energy off on the side of her. Number 67, the Swan. And the last one is number 62, the Choice. Oh my goodness, I got some reading ahead of me. It's a good thing I did. I practiced so much reading stories to my son when he was little in bed. I still read to him at night. Because it takes a while, right? Like reading in your head is one thing. Reading out loud is another. Really honing on that skill here. 44. <clears throat> oh, I should hold this up for you so you can look at the image. Rings of time. Divine timing is granted to us as a gift. Sometimes if we want to be further ahead than we're... We are. That gift can seem like a restriction rather than generous. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Well, really, there was no pause for you. It was for me. My son was like, oh, Mom, there's an Amber Alert on the TV about COVID-19. You've got to come and read it. Okay, okay. So I got down there, and it was all in French. And I'm trying to, I'm like, no, my French isn't that good anymore. I don't know what to say. So I had to wait for the English. I had to come back again. I'm just telling you, don't, don't, don't let your ass go out of the house. Just stay inside unless you need to do something. Well, like, <laughs> so no one would go outside anyways. I need to do something. But I don't know. People are going out less and less. I have to walk the dog. Right? Like, <laughs> I have to walk the dog. That's the only thing I do at this point is I walk the dog. And I don't go near anybody. I only check the mail once a week. And I check it early Monday morning. Because I figure if the mail's been sitting in the box since... The mail person put it in Friday. That would be the newest batch of mail. And I don't know. I just can't do this anymore. Okay. Rings of time. Let's go back to the rings of time. I don't get another interruption. This is not like when he was at school. This is much harder now. I have to do all this editing for all my interruptions. Rings of time. Number 44. Divine timing is granted to us as a gift. Sometimes if we want to be further ahead than where we are, that gift can seem like a restriction rather than a generous holding. Much like traffic that moves syst systematically so that not only one car, but many can reach their destination according to a greater harmony and alignment. We are like individual cars that must sometimes accept red lights and at other times can flow swiftly through many green lights. I have an interesting, oh yeah, I can't, I shouldn't ask questions because I closed off the comments. You can go to the community section and type in there that post there. I have a few, um, yeah, mostly Taurus friends. I swear to God, they always get red lights in the car. It drives me crazy. But when I go driving, I always get green lights. So I'm like, is that because I'm an Aries and they're a Taurus? I often wonder about that. I just brought that up because we're talking about red lights and green lights. It is just this way, the systemic flow of divine energy through human manifestation. Your spiritual maturation is happen happening perfectly. There is no need to bother yourself about timing. When doors open, walk through. When there appear to be no such openings, rest and reflect. The rings of time serve you, beloved. Gosh, it sounds like you guys are kind of doing that though. This oracle brings you a message that the divine is completely responsible for the timing of every event, opportunity, and happening of grace in your life. All you need to do is live your life. Everything else is taken care of for you now. This applies to all of your plans and the unfolding of all your relationships. Let, there we go. let it all breathe and let the divine happen as it will. So that's nice. I think you guys are. And if you're not, you, know, you should be. <laughs> now we have number 52, the ancient ones. Oops. Number 52, the ancient ones. Your spiritual growth is now acknowledged and witnessed by the heavenly ones that see beyond time and space into the reality of your soul. Do not lose heart if your spirituality is not fully acknowledged, understood, or appreciated by those around you in the physical world as yet. Though they may love you, it is most likely that their vision is still bound by time and space, and they cannot see into the very real gains that you have made in the subtle worlds, where all true spiritual growth begins. Oh, see? That makes a lot of sense when we're talking about this person. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They only see the outside. They don't realize all the stuff going on inside there. So the ancient ones reach out to you and bring this message. We see you, beloved. We honor your growth. It is real. It is palatable. And soon it will manifest fully in the physical world with breathtaking beauty. We honor your light. Namaste. I love namaste. In God. No, in you I see God or something like that. I had it right a minute ago. This oracle brings guidance that you have taken a leap in personal growth. If you are still testing it in the physical world, trying to translate your inner changes into outer experiences, take heed. It's only a matter of time before you see reflected back to you in your physical world what you have become within. I love it. That's so on point with the other stuff we talked about. And you will see it mirrored back to you in the eyes of those around you in sacred relationship too. Ah! So God hope, this is how you can fill a bucket. This is how you can fill their, this person or people, whoever. They're gonna reflect, it's going to, yeah, it's gonna be contagious. You just stay with, on your, you stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. They're gonna stay in their lane, hopefully. But their lane is gonna to start to look like your lane. They're gonna like, oh, I'm gonna decorate my lane to look like that lane. And before you know it, they're living that lane. That's good. Hopefully they don't pass you and then drive slow in front of you. <laughs> Never do that to an Aries. Oh my God. <laughs> crazy. Woman of light. This is it. I'm interested. I've never read this one. Pure is my joy, my celebration. I know the divine to be eternal. There is no limit to my peace, to my pleasure as I rise and rise and rise again. Capable am I of receiving the light, of accepting the next level of illumination. I am sacred flesh coming to light. I am the walking temple, the living goddess, she who shines with truth. I come to you now. I am one with you now. I am the awakened one and the awakener. This, ooh, yeah, see you're doing that. You're, this, is a, this is a really good one for bucket filling. Like it really, it's not a hard one to wrap your head around. Like some of them you have to, okay, I think we need to sort of work on this or this is what's happening to you to fill your bucket. But this is really like you are the awakened and the awakener. Through being awakened, you awake others. This oracle brings you guidance so you are to be witness to the presence of an awakened being, either within your own self as part of your spiritual destiny or in the form of a beloved other. An awakened one in your midst or soon will be. We see, an awakened one is in your midst or soon will be. Receive the blessing that emanates from such a being, for to behold one is a gracious spiritual gift that will lift you to the next step of your path. If you are having trouble discerning the true presence of an awakened teacher in your midst or even in your own being, remember that nothing is asked from you by such awakened ones, but loving devotion so that they may serve the awakening of all living beings. It requires much karmic grace to be granted immediate access to an awakened being, even more to become such a living light. Take the light. Oh, that's pretty neat. So even for some of you, this could be someone around you, and maybe you don't even realize that you have some of this energy. Like, I don't, I wish this card had something else. It's just part of the whole English language, the English language. <laughs> I swear there's no vodka. That's what I did, you know. When my son came and got me, I actually went and put vodka. No, I didn't put vodka in there. Um, because envy is like, yeah, I want that. I want what that person has. Or I, I don't know. I think sometimes it's like more like, what did I do wrong? How come I didn't have that? How come I didn't get that? How do I do that? Like, it's just like seeing something you want. I guess that's what envy is. <laughs> anyway, number 67, this one. <gasps> Been inside a long time. As we all have, it's no excuse, right? I can only hear the earth sign saying, it's no excuse, Cindy, just relax. Just relax and drink some more of your water bottle. <laughs> I don't know where it's like where you are, but the liquor store is still considered an essential service here. Gosh, what if that changes though? Maybe I should go soon because I don't have anything in the house. A friend of mine down the street, she's got stuff though. <laughs> she leaves, she, well, no, okay, anyway, 67 the swan. 
gliding with gr this grace honest to goodness i swear i'm connecting with someone on this channel with someone significant whose name is grace i know the word grace what it means like particularly like in a biblical sense or just on a spiritual journey you know but every time it comes up it screams at me that it's a name and it's been for the whole week screaming at me that it's a name somebody did send me an email about that and it was kind of a neat quote i can read it to you i'm gonna read it to you i can find it because oh there's that alert on my phone see i didn't have to go down stop the spread this is from i guess the canadian government oh this is the ontario government COVID 19 can be deadly the time to act is now everyone but essential workers need to stay home oh oh where'd it go only go out if absolutely necessary to pick up groceries, prescriptions, or go to a medical appointment. Ignoring self-isolation or physical distancing advice can have devastating effects and endanger lives. Protect yourself and others. Stay at home. Learn more at... Oh, my package is coming. Oh, sorry. I ordered masks. This is coming in. Tuesday. What's today? Oh, today's Saturday. I did this on Saturday. Clear. How do I? Oh my gosh. Now I can't turn off the screen. These newfangled gizmo things. Jeez, things keep popping up. Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay. How do I find it here? Oh my God. I remember who's that? Oh. oh, Grace. Here we go. Miss Cindy. I like that actually. This is what the little kids used to call me. Oh yeah. I got something in tonight and it ended up involving grace that's been popping up in your readings. See, there's a lot I could say here to fill in the details. I don't need to. You'll know it's for the collective or if it's not, your gut is always right. This is the message. Have the humility to not expect mercy. This allows room for grace. Isn't that interesting? Have the humility to not expect mercy. I think that's grand. I think too. I read that. I remember I read that shortly after the Oakman reading came out, uh, who they are. And there's part of the sacrifice, right? There's a sacrifice being made. They made a sacrifice. We're making a sacrifice. We're being asked to make a sacrifice. Expect no mercy. No. But yeah, the grace thing is driving me nuts. I don't know. Maybe it's somebody's relative. Maybe that's really sweet then. That it just keeps coming up, it keeps coming up. Somebody, somebody who has a relative named Grace wants them to know that everything is okay. Gliding with Grace, nothing is withheld from this beautiful soul. It can discern what is genuine, authentic, loving, and what is from the ego parading. Even through the most impressive words or gestures, this soul can sense the holding within of a core of fearful separation from the divine. With grace, it allows all to be and moves amongst this world with inspiring light and grace. Oh gosh. Paramaham, Paramahamsa. Paramahamsa? Great swan. The soul that moves the souls of others is reaching to you now. The guru, the teacher, the light, the love that is all. You are blessed by sacred divine relationship with the essence of love itself that adores you and wants only for you to be free. This oracle reaches to you now, indicating that you are held within the grace of a great soul, a teacher of the heart, of the spirit, and there is endless light bestowed upon you for protection. Excuse me, your path ahead is assured. Soon you will be shifting from hope to a sense of inevitability in your attainment of the spiritual goals closest to your heart. Be with your practice of love. Through through meditation, yoga, kindness, nature, dance, singing, whatever speaks to your heart and know you are one with the divine and it's only a matter of time before you realize it. Okay, one more. The choice, number 62. So many messages for you guys. It's almost like a backlog. <laughs> like Cindy hasn't said anything to us in a while. We need it. There's a backlog here. The choice, number 62. There is a choice that you need to make. You are aware of it already or it is coming to your awareness very soon. Embrace the unknown and say, yes, you have the opportunity to enrich your world, to receive and therefore be able to share much more. 
If anxiety or fear arises, guilt or shame, treat it as the cleansing of your emotional waters as they receive so much more inflow from the divine ocean. Yeah, right. Remember, because you had Poseidon as your underlying. <clears throat> Let the old layers rise to the surface of your awareness to be washed away. What seems to be so much... No. What seems to be so much in the context of your own emotional waters is not so much at all when compared to what the great ocean is capable of holding. So let the divine ocean take the old, washing away from you and replenishing you with the new, that you may serve life all the better. This oracle brings you guidance. It is safe to choose now. There is no wrong choice, just a choice that resonates with your heart. If it is challenging you, that is an opportunity for you to let the divine cleanse and lift you into the vibration where you feel a peace with your at peace with your choice, where you can accept the grace it will bring to you. Do this now. It's your time to step up. Make your life easier on yourself and open to love in a more trusting way. Come now. The divine is calling you to play. I like that. Yeah, and that's a good one too. It's like if you are at a choice, imagine project yourself making this choice visualize yourself doing that choice whatever it is how do you feel here okay and if there's another choice do the same thing imagine project doing that choice or maybe that choice is to not do whatever this is whatever it is and how do you feel how does that make you feel so that's how you kind of use that as your guidance right there you go my earthlings Thank you. Thank you so much. So until, I don't know when, just whenever I'm pushed, I'm supposed to do this. It's just a, yeah, then, so until then, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.